Var Vargolf. Morgant Vargolf. 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 Oh, hi, how are you? Today we're going to be painting the uh, Morgant Varg Vargolf. Vargolf. Doesn't matter. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Blast Arcade Painting. I hope you guys all had a great Christmas. It is now New Year's Day. It's 2024. Not at the time of recording, but in the future. It's 2024. My future, your present. And here we are. Let's paint the Vargolf Courtier in the Morgon scheme. That is a mouthful of gibberish. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to it and do it. We are going to give this guy a spray of black and then a Zenithal spray of white from above. And let's take one minute to appreciate how cool this miniature is. It's like a bat, but also has like some qualities of a rat and a wolf. It's awesome. It's just a weird vampire creature. And that's it turns out is my kryptonite because... I don't even play and I'm playing Age of Sigmar. I just wanted these weirdo monsters because they're awesome. So we're gonna take some Skeleton Horde and some Blood Angels Red and we're gonna put Express Medium into both of those and we're gonna put our Skeleton Horde on first. This is going all over the main body. So we're staying away from the webbing and the wings and the fur and uh, we're gonna put this all over the face, the arms, but we're gonna stay away from the hands and the feet right now. While the Skeleton Horde is still wet, we're going to take our Blood Angels Red. This is going on the hands, the feet, and around the mouth. And we want to wet blend those two colors together. So we're going to take a damp brush and then just kind of uh, feather them together like, like that. I'm going to take some Aged Hide and we're going to add in a little bit of Familiar Pink. And this is just going to go inside of his ears here and also into his nose hole. That nose hole is appropriate because it's, it's not really a nose goes in it's a nose hole i don't know nose divot it's a nose divot so next we're going to take some bone white and we're going to dry brush over all the skeleton horde we just did so we do want to have a little bit near where we mixed in because we're going to dry brush on some red as well and that's the deep red from ak interactive we're going to dry brush that on all the blood angels red that we did so we can kind of go light around the parts where we mixed and they will transition together Next, we're going to take some ivory here, and we're going to put this all over his teeth. Uh, the spikes sticking out of his elbows, and also the spikes on his back. So we do want to leave, if we can, a little bit of the original uh, color there from the Skeleton Horde just at the base of where we're putting the paint. Next, we're going to take some Insignia White here, and this is going to go over the ivory we just did. So we leave a little bit of the ivory there, and then just do our layer up. And because this is an air paint, it's pretty thin, so it's going to go on a little bit more patchy, which actually helps blend in the colors. I'm going to take some Age Hide with a little bit of Speed Paint Medium, and this is going on all the webbing that he has in between his arms and uh, legs. There's quite a bit of webbing here, so just on there. Next, we're going to take some snake bite leather, and this is going all over the fur. So just find those patches of fur and just get this on there and try your best to keep this away from the skin and any other areas we've already painted because they're done. Now we're going to jump over to some pale flesh here and we're going to do a dry brush on all that webbing that we did. So just a light dry brush. We don't want to go too heavy. We just kind of want to brighten it up a little bit. And we're going to take some squid pink and we're going to put this just inside of all the little wounds that he has all over his back and body. Now we're going to take some filthy brown and we are just going to do the outline of those wounds so just the raised area around where we put the pink now 
Next, we're gonna take some bronze flesh tone, and this is gonna be a dry brush up on the snake bite leather that we did for the fur. So we just want a good, even dry brush across all the fur here. Then we're gonna take some dead flesh and we're gonna do a much lighter dry brush up on that fur. So just a light sort of uh, dusting almost over some of the spots of the fur. We wanna avoid the under parts. Next we're gonna take some plague bear flesh and we're gonna darken it with a little beel tan green and we're just gonna put that into the pink wounds that we did. Now we're gonna take some Griff Charger Gray and this is gonna go on these stones on his base. So he's got two little stones that are built onto him and then some of the bigger rocks that I put on there. I'm gonna take some Shamrock Green and some Brownish Decay. We're gonna put Brownish Decay all over the ground cover parts of the base. And then I'm going to drop on drops of Shamrock Green and then mix it in. We're going to take some maggot skin here and we're literally going to drop this on the base and then leave it. And we're going to do this in just a couple little areas and this will look really cool once it's dried. I want a weird, uh, gloopy, swampy sort of base, you know, but still dirty and uh, I don't know, it's its own thing. It's just a really nasty sort of boggish land. And we're gonna take some light blue here and this is just gonna go all over his uh, fingernails and toenails. Next we're gonna take some yellow and we're just going to dot in his eyes with this. So just take your time and just be deliberate of where you're putting the point of that brush. And uh, I picked yellow for the eyes instead of red um, because red eyes are glowing. I kind of wanted to give the idea that like light fell on it and it's that yellow reflection that you see in like animals' eyes outside. So that's why I picked yellow. I'm gonna add a couple wasteland tufts from the army painter here. Now we're gonna take some water gel swamp green and just put this in little patches around the base. We'll do the rim around the base and this guy is totally done. And here he is all finished up. I'm um, really happy with how this turned out. Really simple and easy ways to get this guy painted and looking really good for your games. Um, it's a super cool miniature, so that kind of makes it a little bit easier too, but um, a really easy paint job that anyone should be able to do with these tools. One of the reasons I really like this creature is because it's like thin and spindly instead of like um, muscle bound like everything in Games Workshop has bulging muscles and they're really like leaning on that fantasy aesthetic. I really like the spindly weirdo uh, creatures like it looks like it hasn't eaten in a while but I have a feeling it has eaten quite recently. <laughs> Anyways, like I said, it's 2024 now. What are you guys doing new for your hobby? Are you starting a new army? Are you looking into a new game? Uh, gonna get some new paints, try out some new techniques? Let me know in the comments below what your guys' plan for the new year is when it relates to your hobby. That's a mouthful. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. You guys have a great day and a happy new year. Next, we're going to take some uh, bleh, 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 bleh. The fun part about uh, this video is how uh, stuffed up I am because I'm definitely sick. Uh, yeah, this is it's not it's time for a new start of the year by being uh, sick in the old one.